Alrighty houses, welcome back. And in this video, what I want to do is I want to talk to you about one of my favorite features of GitHub, and that is the issues tab. So whenever you're working on a project, whether it's a website or a piece of software, and you have a bunch of team members on it, you're basically going to have a lot of things that you need to do to that project. So maybe for this website, uh, my company decided that we wanted to add some more files and there were also some bugs that we wanted to fix and maybe for this homepage there were some improvements that we wanted to make. We basically had a big to-do list. Now it's going to get really confusing really quickly if you're like, alright, you over there, you fix these bugs and you in the back, you got to add these files and uh, yeah, you in the middle, you have to... Um, I don't know, like add an image to the homepage and just keeping track of who does what is going to turn into like a big spaghetti mess. So luckily, whenever using GitHub, it pretty much solves all of those problems. So go ahead and click the issues tab. And what this allows you to do is basically this. Anytime you have any change that you want to make, any bug that you want to fix, anything that you want to do, you just make a new issue. So this is basically going to be like a to-do list. Now for each item in this list, what you're going to do is you're going to assign a person to it. So that way everyone knows exactly what they're supposed to do and everyone has a clear set of tasks. Tasks. There we go. It's weird to say. There's like eight S's in it. All right. So let's go ahead and make just one item now. So I'm going to go ahead and click new issue. And anytime you make an issue, you have a title and I'll say add image to homepage and a description that is pretty much a more detailed um, description, I guess, of whatever you're trying to accomplish. So I'll say, we need a picture of a frog in the middle of the home page. All right, looking good. Now, the cool thing about these is whenever you're writing the details for a task, you're not only limited to plain text, you can you know, go ahead and bold things, one thing you're going to be using a lot are these code snippets. And if you want to write like, I don't know, maybe a sample of the code, like image source uh, equals frog dot gif, uh, you know, something like that. And you can go ahead and preview it. And these code snippets just, you know, they're kind of different than the normal text. It has all mono spaced font and it just stands out a little bit better. And another cool thing is you can actually upload files or if you have a file online, you can link it, but I'll show you guys a really cool feature. So a lot of times, let me just, just take a step back. I add images here because I take a screenshot of something um, or maybe I'm taking a screenshot of my IDE whenever I got an error trying to run the program. And what I can do is once I have that screenshot, as you see, it's just an image on my computer. You can actually just go ahead and drag it and plop it in here. Now what that does is it actually uploads it for you and converts it to markup, which is GitHub's special text. And if you preview it, you got your image right here. So again, you wouldn't be including these pictures of frogs a lot. They're usually screenshots or, you know, just error messages or pictures of, I don't know, random things about your website that are goofy, but there you go. So after this, you can go ahead and hit submit new issue or what I always do is I add a label to it. So a label, if you click this little gear icon, it tells you what kind of issue this is. So I usually use two different ones the most. The first one is a bug. So a bug of course is something very wrong with your program. Whenever you encounter this, it pretty much crashes your program. Another one that I use is enhancement. So bugs are the most important one. If you label something as a bug, then this is the thing you want to do first. However, if I just am laying in bed thinking of a cool idea, maybe some cool feature to add to my website, I can go ahead and label it as an enhancement. So this is just me personally. You can label them however you want. But basically, I like doing this because, hey, we got to take care of the bugs first. And then any issue that's an enhancement, whenever we have time, we can you know add those features later. So that's what labels are. Um, milestones we're talking about in a little bit. And this is another useful thing right here. So an assignee is basically you can assign someone or say, hey, this is the person who's going to take care of this issue. 
So right now you can see that I only have one option and that is me right here. And that's because I'm the only uh, person working on this repository right now. But I'll show you guys the one that we are working on for my website. So this is a source code for the actual website. If you go to the newboston.com, this is all this. Now you can see that we have some issues right here. So we have different assignees, me, Eric, uh, this is my lead developer. And you can see that I am assigned this issue and also this one and Eric is working on these things right now. So if I ever wanna change one of these and said, you know what, I actually don't have time to do this. I can click this gear icon and change it to someone else. So I can just give them all to Wheatley or Eric or anyone else. So again, you're usually gonna have more than one people that you can assign it to whenever you're working on a big project. But for right now, we'll just assign it to myself and hit submit new issue. So there you go. And now whenever you click the issues tab, you can see a list of these issues. So whenever you have an item that is needed to be worked on, it's called open. So this means that it's an active item, it's on the to-do list. Whenever you are done with it, it's called closed. And I'll show you guys this. So right now on my website, and this is actually a real one, not just a sample for YouTube, we have five little issues that we are working on. So here are all of these. And the ones that we already finished, we can see that we have 21 closed issues. So all of these things, all of these bugs and features, we already fixed. So that's another cool way to separate them. And the last thing I want to mention is this. You see that we have a couple of these labels like enhancement. And I already showed you guys we have this bug label, this red one. Well, there are going to be times where you actually need your own custom labels. And one example of this is we have this to-do list right here. Now, a lot of these things I work on and a lot of stuff Eric works on, and we're pretty much both web developers, we can write code. However, sometimes we have an issue that is more server related and we aren't the best with you know server administration and getting deep into the back end of things. So we actually assign those to Vlad. So what we need to do is we don't write it as a bug. We don't write it as an enhancement. We need a special label for Vlad and Vlad is my server administrator for the website. Now, of course, by default, you just don't have a Vlad label. So you have to kind of make your own custom labels. So anytime you want to do that, just go ahead and click labels at the top right here. Now, usually you're only going to have these question invalid, help wanted enhancement duplicate and bug, but I needed to make this. So what I did is I went to new label and then I typed server Vlad and I'll just be like, um, uh, what can I put like here, like sample for YouTube. And then what you can do is you can make your own custom color. So there you go. Hit create label. And you can now add it as label just like before. I'm going to delete that because I really don't need it. Yes, I want to delete it. But there you go. So that's the basic concept behind issues. It's basically a to do list and you can add custom labels to them to help clarify exactly what they are and how important they are. And you can also assign people to them so everyone knows exactly what they're supposed to be working on and no one bumps heads. Pretty cool. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.